Welcome into the program, New Browns offensive lineman Eric Cush. Welcome to the – you know the Dorse quite well. Well, we, well. We love the Dorse, mm-hmm. and, and, you, and how, how big a deal was that for you coming here? It was awesome to be back to be back with him. Uh, you know, he had faith in me in Kansas City and everything, and uh, um, it's just really good to be back with the Dorse and, uh, you know, see what he's done to the Browns so far. I got to tell you, as soon as I knew you were coming in, I'm really disappointed this interview is taking place on a Thursday. I think unbelievable, right? We've, I can't wait to reschedule this for Friday. I know. Get, you know, some tank tops and dumbbells and whatnot. Right? I know. Get a little fat <laughs> on Friday. I mean, you're here oh, in this yeah. beautiful suit. I feel the like I, I've never seen so much fabric on you before. Yeah, that's a lot of fabric. But, you know, <laughs> some teams have, uh, you know, mandatory dress requirements for travel, so... I, you know, I have a couple of stuff in the, in the uh, closet for just in case. I will tell you this. Joe Thomas is a big tank top guy as well. Yeah. And one day on the show, we ended up wearing tank tops. I did. I don't know it'll happen again. I, don't like, know I can probably tell you I can anymore, probably tell you it won't happen again. But so maybe Joe, you know, former yeah, Browns lineman, he can he's yes. got the the, the, the legend. Cole, legend. Cole has a and, yeah, Britton Cole, Britain our Cole punter, is oh, yeah. a friend of the show. I, knew, I, played, I played with, with the Cole. His, I played with his brother uh, in uh, in Kansas City. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know the Cole quits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Britton Cole because we don't use the word quit around here, so he's just Britton Cole. Okay, he's a yeah. he's a he's a legend. Big big friend of the show. Awesome, yeah. And a tank top aficionado himself. Yeah. So you, you're obviously, Eric, you're obviously the, the biggest name coming into this franchise, you know, in the last week or so. What is it like to have all the paparazzi that you see out there and, you know, all of the attention? <laughs> it's insane. You know, I get off the plane. I got to fight people. I got to yeah, fight Overshadowing yeah. Odell. He's yeah. like, what? I thought I was the news. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's tough. You know, you got you to gotta fight your way through crowds and crowds of people out here. You yeah. Know? They're trying to grab my tank tops and stuff. And it's ridiculous. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm glad I finally made it in. I started this. I started on Monday, you know. But I'm trying to get here through the crowds of people. It's we were worried long. about and now that. Here you are. Yeah, and now you've arrived. All the yeah. security, Congrats. extra security. All yeah. The, yeah it's, I mean, like, Kush is we're coming. glad yeah. you're finally here. Not a scratch on me. <laughs> yeah, very glad you're finally here. This is a very good offensive line room. Mm-hmm. It was very good last year. Obviously, Kevin Zeitler gets traded. Austin Corbett was drafted early. What's it going to be like to come into a room like this with guys like Joel Batonio, et cetera, who have played mm-hmm. at a high level for a long time? Yeah, there's a lot of good guys, and I can't wait to be a part of it. Uh, I can't wait to get uh, and go meet some of these guys. I haven't met any of them uh, personally yet. Um, so it'll be good to just, you know, jump in there, uh, uh, see what the personalities are. And, and a lot of times, O linemen are all kind of the same person, just cloned in a little different shape. He's slightly <laughs> different, you know. Uh, but they're always the same attitude, same people. So, um, you know, I imagine I'll fit right in and, and we'll have a great, you know, continue a, a great O line room. So you played at California of Pennsylvania. Of Pennsylvania, yeah. Of Pennsylvania, yeah. Yes, I had to yes. explain that to every single person I've ever met uh, on my <laughs> NFL journey. You know, yeah, California like- University of Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a little D2 school outside of – that's just south of Pittsburgh, a little southwest of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, so I grew up right around this area and everything, and, um, you know, excited to be here. So yeah. how were you – so talk about, like, how were you discovered by the Doors? Uh, well, I, I guess, you know, the Doors has little fingers everywhere, little little birds. And, uh, you know, these guys and all their staff watch, you know, thousands and thousands of hours of tape and everything. And, uh, you know, I guess I flashed on his screen somewhere at some point or, you know, somebody and – and said, hey, Dorse, you know, you might want to full Dorse this guy. That's right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's full Dorse in everything at the moment. Had, it's hard to say. I just had an idea yeah. that I want to throw well, out there I, real this, quickly. I'm I an think idea man. I you throw out enthusiasm. Get, that's right. you got to get either just fully shred the sides of a Dorse sweatshirt so you can still have the fat arm Friday. Sleeves, like take the sleeves off and shred oh. the sides so it's kind of like a cape almost. You know, like what Tyson used to yeah, wear. Right, like Mike ring. Tyson. Okay. Yes, just put – Get your head and right cut it. It's a tough, I don't know if we'll be able to get around no, here. I don't no, know. No, no, so might have to neck. cut it. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to yeah. trim it. Sure. Or at least a door you style. Cool, you put tank that cool top. notch right in the neck right there. Oh, That's notch. what you got to do, right? Yeah. 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 I think oh, that, that would what be a look amazing. that would be. You do yeah. that with some khakis on a Friday. Oh, That's a win. It. Tight khakis <laughs> and some, uh, what are they, New Balance shoes? No, no. no, no Monarchs. Air Monarchs. Monarchs. Mikey, Mikey. We stare at him as he walks by and admire every ounce of the. He tolerates us. We think. Barely. We barely. I don't know. That's funny. It's very limited. You came from. A very good offense. You're coming to one that, on paper at least, buddy, looks like it could mm-hmm. be nuts. Um, what, what type of excitement level of of joining this group that, that could be pretty? It's pretty darn exciting. There's a lot of buzz going around, you know, about the Cleveland Browns. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to get in here, you know, get started, and uh, you know, see what everything's going to, how everything's going to shape up, and how everybody's going to work together. And you know, I was thinking, obviously, for where you grew up, and and s- similar cities, obviously, with with, yeah. with Pittsburgh and Cleveland, great rivalry, of course. Um, but you you know what football means uh, where yeah. you grew up, and it's you know similar here. Um, Absolutely. And, and so, what is this team hasn't 
achieved this and you know a, a great deal of success in a very long time. Can you imagine what it will be like in this town to achieve that? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, extra- awesome! I can't wait. You know, yeah. it's, that's you know, it's keeping me all you know jittery in a suit right now to see what you know what we can turn this thing into, and uh, I can't wait to see the dog pound and uh, get down there and just take everything that is Cleveland. You know, take it all in. Other than the fact that you look great in a tank top, what's something you want the Browns fans to know? Um. I've got a great family. I got three kids, and uh, awesome. you know, I try to enjoy my time with my with my two boys and my daughter as much as I can, and uh, you know, take them hunting and fishing and four wheeling my big Jeep Wrangler. I like it. It's strong. Win. That's yeah. a win. That's yeah. a job. Yeah. Outdoorsman. I try to be. Yeah. Yeah. I a do. A, I do a lot of waterfowl. You know, uh, Canada geese, snow geese. Uh, I haven't got a chance to duck hunt much. Uh, it's I don't know. Like, for some reason, it's been harder for me to do that. You know, obviously during the season, you don't get to do much. So in the off season, it's always you know water goose season. So uh, I've got a really good friend in Kansas City that takes me there a lot. That takes me out with him a lot. Um, with the there's a TV show called uh, Heartland Waterfowl and Outdoor Network. Um, I do a lot of hunting with those guys. Um, they got me into it. They got me addicted to it. And now what do you love about it? Uh, you know, it's it's kind of like the game of football, right? So you you go out there and you got to go scout. You got to go scout where these geese are. You know, because a lot of people like. I grew up in Pittsburgh, right? There wasn't, you know, there wasn't really water fouling. You well, know? we no, have them here, you know. And frankly, so, I'd like to put you on my payroll. Yeah, if let's willing go. To right? I'm willing in yes. my front yeah. yard. Yeah. Yes. I would like you to. And so, you know, that's a migrating bird, right? So you got to watch and see, when, you know, when they're coming in, where they're going, what field, what pond, and you got to follow them. You know, you got to, you got to take your notes. Like, okay, at, you know, in the mornings, this is the weather. They're going to here. They're going to feed. They're coming back to roost on water, whatnot. <clears throat> so, you know, so you got to, you got to plan it out, right? So you plan, okay, I think these geese are going to show up here in this cornfield at this time, you know. So you're like, okay, I'm going to try for this morning hunt. You're going to go out there at 4 in the morning, start setting up decoys, start hiding your blinds, you know. And you, you hide in, try to blend in. So amazing. No, yeah. And, I can uh, tell you that at my, in my front yard, they're on my drive. It's really easy. Just show yeah. up. <laughs> they will be there. Blind. I yeah. promise. Yeah. Anytime. But unfortunately, come. though, yeah. you know, there's, there's laws. Lob, you can't yeah. shoot next to a house. Yeah. And, I have you know, to use water balloons. I, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And you set up, so you set up, and you get set in, and then uh, you wait for birds to show up, you know, and, you know, the excitement that you see when they, you know, when you start seeing them fly, and they, they come check you out, and if they don't like your decoys, they don't like your setup, then they'll fly away, you know, you won't get a chance to, to, to harvest them, so, you know, you got to have everything right, everything set up, be in the right place at the right time, and then you got to seal the deal and have them, you know, come in and try to land close enough to you that you can, that you can take them, you know, Fantastic. and if you mess it up, you don't, you know, you just sat, you did all that for nothing, and you were just bird watching, you know. <laughs> Yeah. So it's That's really exciting. fantastic. Continue a great lineage of offensive linemen who love the outdoors. Joe Thomas. It's true. Yeah. Joe Thomas. Great yeah. outdoorsman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be fast friends. Yeah. Yeah. You know anything about sous vide? Yeah. Do you sous vide meats? Oh, you know what? I do a lot of smoking. I got a Traeger, okay. uh, giant Traeger. So I smoke a lot of ribs, briskets, you know, the burn ends. I'll have to bring out and do some oh, of that please. stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. 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 Oh, we love him. This guy. You're now a great friend of the program. Great friend we love of the program. program. Right. That'll be one of the first things I load up when, my, when I get ready to pack up and get out here is going to be my Traeger. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do all kinds of smoking on there. And my next step would try to be maybe sous vide some stuff. But uh, I might not do it because have you ever guys heard of reverse sear? Yes. Yeah. That is fantastic. That's a great way to cook a steak. So I'll yeah. you know, slow cook it for like an hour, two hours, whatever, real slow, real low temperature, bring it up, and then take it off and then sear it you know, in a pan or whatever. And that's basically what the sous vide does yeah. for you. Yeah, same kind of thing. That's exactly what it does for you. Yeah. The yeah. sous vide was, it was introduced Joe to us by Joe. Yeah. 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 You know, it's funny. When Game you changer. sign this contract, I feel I imagine you're like, I'm the big winner today. I feel like we're the big winners. <laughs> no, we've won. <laughs> we're we're the the possibly winners. Yeah. We're yeah. the big winners. This is a real treat. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can we call you a great friend of the program? I, yeah, I feel sure. Like it's been a short time, but I feel like it's I feel like we're connected. Natural. We made a like connection. Yeah. Like I've known yeah. him for a long time. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that, too. I feel yeah. like we'd get an apartment together or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, Eric. Thanks, buddy. Welcome right, to the Browns. Thank you, guys.